Good morning, folks. Nice to get a day off from major quakes during the watch. A 5.5 in Chile was the top tremor after our watch saw one major quake over two weeks turn into four of them in four days. The high pressure anomaly over Greenland. It is the negative Arctic oscillation aspect and causing the cold to come down over mid latitude. Where 2011 and 2012 saw the U.S. break daily heat records almost all year, the United States has been setting many cold records like India and Europe did last year. In fact, the last two winters have seen extreme weather records of all types, the number one record set in the U.S. and across the globe being precipitation totals. Speaking of the U.S., strong low near North Texas is going to create the potential for severe weather, not just here at the yellow marker, but over a much broader area. This is weather.gov and a terrific local watch map for you. Pressure map again, got a low just out of view. She is spinning towards the west coast now, while the last storm appears to be lingering in the North Atlantic. I put Europe on watch for this two days ago because I didn't see the invisible brick wall set to halt him in his tracks. Got some long arms though and will begin affecting the region today. I assume that most UK and Euro folks know this website, but just in case, it gives all the weather warnings for your area. The legend and icons are very easy to understand. You can break it down by country, for example, Spain with mostly wind advisories and Poland with mostly winter weather warnings. Lastly, that convergence has finally made its way to New Zealand. Yes, please mate, let's mitigate the near nationwide drought. Bartol. Usually they take stuff like this off the charts, but I was here yesterday and that wasn't. This is no error, we took a huge cosmic ray influx and it is visible on multiple stations. This may truly have caused the strange ionosphere readings yesterday, although likely by the way of detector overload or similar error because the actual readings made no sense and a good bit of our planet would have gotten baked. Still, I thought it was just an error and clearly I was wrong. Add to that a second wave of a coronal hole stream. The yellow solar wind speed is rising back up. We know it is a second wave because if they left at once, the slower ones wouldn't have been here yet. Our shield is not taking this well at all. This is major plasma penetration and the inductions will obviously match if those two are in flux. Speaking of flux, electrons, magnetics, protons, KP on the rise again. The most telling aspect is the Ovation Prime Auroral Gauge. High latitude watchers, get outside. The auroras are exploding right now. The Corona Hole may still be geo-effective, but is turning away now. We have a six day break in planetary alignments coming after today, and no major Corona Hole set to turn in. Quake threat is definitely lessening, not gone yet. Those bright areas turning in are new active regions. Getting a solid look at these for today. Magnetic classification coming tomorrow. I also direct your attention to a massive plasma filament dancing in the solar atmosphere. Let's keep an eye on him as he turns in too. Eyes open. No fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.